Hi, this is Jen of the Kick-Ass Website Coach, and I am going to show you how to use category listings from the blog posts to display in your menu bar on a typical WordPress website. Now, different themes will have different functionality. Some themes will actually offer a way to create a page and then attribute a blog post category to it, but basic themes and in fact probably the majority of themes out there um, don't allow that and you'll have to go find um, a way to, sh to display blog post categories um, and it's fairly easy actually once you know what you're doing so I'm working on a client's website and you can see here in their um, top navigation menu some of these um, links are pages and some of them are actually category listings from um, the blog post function. So just for instance, um, hmm, okay, I don't see them, so I'm going to just go into the dashboard and show you how to do this. So inside the dashboard, um, you're going to come find the blog post link and if you just click on it, it'll actually expand the menu there. You can see over here on the left hand side, it now shows several options for um, all posts, add new posts, their categories, or your tags. And what we're going to do is take a look real quick at the categories listing. And you can see there's several that are already made. Some of these were made um, previously and came with the WordPress theme installation. Some of them are ones that we have created specifically for this website. Um, what I was looking for earlier is that we have um, the school, the teacher individual pages where the teachers can log in and update their classes. So um, let me look real quick. Aha, uh -huh. okay, here it is under our classes section. Um, if we come take a look at Mrs. Fance, you'll see that we have uh, one, two, just two posts, and um, you can click this one, and it'll open it up a little bit more. So that is just a regular blog post, but when you click on this link, it actually shows all of the blog posts that were attributed to that category. So I'm going to show you how to set up additional pages like that. Um, and if we go back in here and we look at the blog post categories that have been created, there's one for Mrs. Fans. Now let me show you where that shows up since we already have it created and then we'll come back and I'll show you actually how to create one. So what we're going to do now to see where to manage this part, the top menu, inside of your um, dashboard you need to come down to appearance and you can do the same thing that we did earlier you can just click on appearance and it will open up or expand this area or when you just scroll over it it will show that but what we're going to do is go to appearance and then menus and we're going to click on menu and it will show us a page and this is where we manage any menu that will display on our website and every theme has different options some themes only have one menu location some have two or three so you can see with this particular theme there's one in the header section and there's one in the footer section um, what we're concentrating on right now is our header section and over in this area this is where you create the menu links. So I created one called Clemens. It's just a way to help me identify which one I want to put in um, either the header or the footer area. So we'll scroll down just a little bit. Now over here on the left side you can see some different options. You can see one here for pages. We'll open that up and you can click on view all and it will show you all of the pages that have been created for this website okay and you can add you can add the links to those pages 
Um, but since we're concentrating on how to do this by category, I'm going to show you how to do that. So down under Pages is the Categories tab. You can click on View All. Now we're going to click on, let's just do Announcements because we'll, we'll go ahead and add a new one. But then also I want to show you right over here, um, you can see a tab that was created called Classes. And underneath that, that's Mrs. Fancy's preschool page that we just looked at a minute ago. And you can see the other two uh, teachers as well right here. So let me go back over here. We clicked Announcements. And um, you know what, we'll just leave it at that for right now. Um, this says Announcements. So we're just going to click on Add to Menu. And then if we scroll down, you'll see that it was added oops, to the bottom of this section. So if we click on Save Menu, and if we go back to um, the front of our website and we refresh it, you'll see that Announcements is now over here in our menu. If we click on it, um, anything in our blog post that is attributed to um, to that particular category is going to show up on this page so or on yeah on this link um, so let me uh, I'm gonna do this we're gonna go create a blog post for an announcement specifically so that I can show you how to attribute it so we're going to come back in here and we're going to go back to blog posts and we're going to add new and we're going to call this um, test post and I'm just going to grab some gobbledygook here and we're going to paste that in here not going to be pretty but it doesn't need to be. I'm not going to go into the whole how you create your post thing. That's a separate video. But then over here um, on your right hand sidebar you have a place where you can select any and all categories that you want this blog post to show up in. But since we're working specifically on announcements we're going to click announcement and then we're just going to come back up here and click on publish. Now, just to show you, we'll go back to the very front of the website. Um, we'll come over here and we'll click on announcements. And if we scroll down, you can see our test post shows up right here. Okay. Okay. So, um, that's the basics of how you create one. What you want to start with is um, a category name. So back to the blog post area, click on categories. We used announcements. You can create a new category at any time. We can call this um, news and you just type in the word again. Um, we don't need news to be um, listed underneath another category, so we're going to leave this alone. You can put in a description, um, but it's not something to worry about right at the moment. And then you just click Add New Category. And you can see it shows up right here at the top. So then the next step is to create a new category, or I'm sorry, to create a new blog post. And we're going to call this one test post 2. And we're just going to put that same text back in there. And now this time we're going to come over here and we're going to look through alphabetically. We're going to find news. We're going to click publish. And then what we have to do is go down here to appearance to our menus. I'm going to come down here to categories 
and it shows up right here. If you don't see it immediately, you can always click on View All. It will list things alphabetically. Click New, click Add to Menu, and it shows up right there. So we'll click Save Menu, and we'll go take a look at that. And just refresh our page. And you can see down here at the very end of the line is the new link for news. If we click on it, it takes us to a page that displays all of our blog posts for the news category. Okay, so let's say we don't want those there. Actually, let's say we want to rearrange those. All you have to do is left click with your mouse on top of a tab and then while you're holding it down, you slide your mouse up or down to move it around. We will just move it right up here to the top just for example's sake and we're going to click Save Menu. And then we'll refresh and take a look at that. So now, Announcements shows up on the list in front of Home. So now let's say we don't want that there anymore. We don't want to display a link to the announcements category. So what I did was I come find the tab over here where there's a little um, arrow. If you click on that, it shows you a drop down menu or a drop down area. And we're going to click remove. And it's all gone, but you do have to remember to save your menu. And I'll show you right here. If we refresh our page, it's not here anymore. It's not over here anymore. So we'll go ahead and remove our news page as well and click Save Menu. Now real quick, before we're done, I only have a couple of minutes left for this video. I'm going to show you how to um, nest pages or links underneath other ones like we've done for the classes. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to click Announcements, News, and Newsletter. And we're going to add those to the menu. Alright, so they all show up right here. I'm going to move this one here. And then I'm going to do the same motion that I did before. I'm going to left click holding my mouse button down. And I'm going to drag that widget back. And you'll see it automatically drops in slightly underneath and behind this one. So let me show you what that looks like. I'll click Save Menu. I'm going to come to that front page and refresh. You can see we've got News and Newsletter. Now under News or next to News is that same arrow that indicates there's a page under it. So as, as we scroll over it we have a drop down page and we can click on that to see the announcements tab. Okay, It's the same thing as up here on classes. If it has this little arrow next to it, it indicates that there's a page or two or three or several underneath it and you can click on those. Same thing here, the mission and the Clemens history are nested or um, put underneath each other. Okay, so that is how you add new pages that display um, information that can be updated over time, daily, weekly, monthly, um, more than once a day even, but you need to still categorize them by um, a particular post topic. So it could be your teacher pages, it could be news or events, or um, maybe your sermons, you don't want them in the other area you know, provided by um, this particular theme. It's just a little bit easier to manage and track on your own. Thank you. This is Jen of the Kick-Ass Website Coach, and this was the tutorial on how to add blog post category links to your website.